So it's July 1st of 2020, and we're back out at the range, uh, and today we have the CMMG Banshee. We're continuing the uh, pistol tests that we started a few months ago. The CMMG Banshee pistol with the Triple X KJ sound suppressor. Um, there's a couple questions that I keep getting a lot of now that we've actually gotten inside and we can see how the operating system works. Those two questions are, number one, what is the actual muzzle velocity you're getting from this thing? And number two, what kind of practical accuracy uh, can someone expect? Today we have the Caldwell Ballistics Precision Chronograph uh, along with the app that works with my phone to record the data. And I want to shoot a bunch of rounds through it. It's just going to be, uh, for today's purposes, 115 grain ball ammunition. Uh, we'll try some through the can, we'll try some without the can. Since a lot of you have asked if it actually makes any difference, well, let's check, let's find out together. So our first group of 10, we fired utilizing the uh, American Manufacturing Suppressor. And I love this thing. The uh, Caldwell uh, Ballistics Chronograph keeps all, <laughs> keeps all of the data right here so I don't have to take notes anymore at the range. Um, anyway, um, the first string of 10, we had an average muzzle velocity of 1,256 feet per second. And the max spread, uh, 83 feet per second. And, of course, you saw the shots come up on the screen the same time I was shooting them. Uh, these, and, and that was with the Triple X K-Jet. The second 10, uh, with no suppressor, just a bare muzzle, the average muzzle velocity was 1,251 feet per second. Uh, the max spread, uh, 49, 49 feet per second. So there really isn't any any discernible difference between suppressed and unsuppressed, uh, at least not in the case of this rig, the, the little Banshee pistol, and the 115 grain uh, federal ammunition. So in, in both cases, we're averaging uh, around 1,250 feet per second. In this particular case, 115 grain ammo. Uh, that's the muzzle velocity. What does that translate to in muzzle energy? Um, 402.93, so um, a little over 400 foot-pounds of energy. That's a pretty good load being delivered by such a little tiny package. Um, it looks like the thunderstorms are moving on their way back in. Um, you can probably see the mosquitoes that we're dealing with in between storms. They get crazy um, when we're in between storms like that, but um, we're going to call it for today. Uh, we'll come back and we'll fire the uh, 147 grain stuff, the subsonic ammo, again, both with the can and without it. And uh, if we get a few extra minutes, the rifle range is open now. I want to get some practical accuracy testing because um, over here on the pistol range and the subgun range, these steel plates are no problem whatsoever. So I want to stretch it out a little bit and answer that other question you're asking. Just how accurate is it 
and at what distances does it still carry energy and can it remain accurate? So I hope you enjoyed this follow-up to the uh, pistol caliber carbine and AR pistol uh, family video series. If you did, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe. Subscribe to the channel both on Full30 and on YouTube if you don't already. And make sure you click notify so you know when we upload something new. If you'd like a peek at our videos before they go public on the YouTube side, uh, you can join the family over on Patreon. Uh, it's a neat little place to kind of get a sneak peek as to what we're doing, and uh, we expect to get busier on that moving forward. And if you're really into ARs, into the Black Rifles, check out my book, The Evolution of the Black Rifle. I'll have a link to it in the video description below. If you enjoy talking guns, uh, we, we try to get there on a daily basis on Facebook at facebook.com slash guntestvids. Till next time, have fun and be safe.